Praise the name of the Lord. Let the living shout hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let us begin to thank the name of the Lord. Let's begin to thank God. Thank Him for the year 2023, which is about to expire. Thank Him for His goodness. Thank Him for His mercy. Thank Him for the testimonies that abounded in the year 2023. People of God, can we begin to bless His name? begin to sing his praise, begin to testify of his goodness and of his kindness, his merciful love, his loving kindness to you and your family. Can we begin to exalt his name, thank him for coming through, thank him for the victories, thank him for the battles, thank him for the deliverance, thank him for the rescues, Thank Him for the healings. Thank Him for the new songs. Thank Him for the new levels. Thank Him because you are not the same person that you used to be. So many things have changed in your life in the year 2023. And it is a testament of the good things that God is prepared ahead of you. So give Him thanks. Thank His name. Bless His name. Worship Him, worship Him, glorify Him, because our God reigns forevermore. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Our Most High God in heaven, we bless you for this hour. We know that it's not by power, it's not by might, but it's by your spirits. Thank you because you said you would have mercy on whom you would have mercy. You said you would have a compassion on whom you would have compassion. Thank you for coming through for us. Thank you for bringing us into the new season of a new and a glorious year that you have prepared for us. Thank you because everything is set for us. And therefore, we receive with thanksgiving all that you have done. We thank you because tonight you would send your word to us. Our lives would not remain the same any longer. Thank you because indeed we would rejoice. Thank you, Jesus. We we'll bless your name. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. If you are alive this evening, I want you to shout hallelujah. Turn to about three different persons and tell them I made it. Oh no, I mean turn to three different people and tell them I made it. You know, um, I, was, I was discussing, I was somewhere yesterday and somebody said to someone and said, see you in the new year. And when the guy said it, I just said to him, I said, what you said is a very strong prayer <laughs> because I want to tell you some persons will still die today. I mean, I was talking about on, on Saturday. I said some persons will still die today. Some persons will die tomorrow. And some persons will still die <laughs> even at the verge of, you know, shouting Happy New Year. So I said, what you have said is a strong prayer and a strong declaration that I see you in the new year. And uh, lo and behold, this morning, I was, you know, I came to the news of someone very dear to me. You know, one of, you know, a very dear woman of God, very dear to me, very known to us, personal, family, friend who died this morning. I mean, she died this morning. And when I heard the news, it actually put me in a state of reflection and retrospection. That Benga, you were still saying yesterday that some persons will die. And you know, this is right, like happening right. It's not like a distant news or a distant person. This is someone personal to me. And I was weak 
this morning. But you know what? God does as he pleases. And it is in God's, you know, will and divine purpose that you and I are still alive at this present hour. So I want you to rejoice and shout hallelujah. Uh, I mean, stand on your feet, rejoice and shout hallelujah. And say, thank you, Jesus, for I made it. <laughs> hallelujah. Now, quickly, I will be giving us a charge. The, every time when the new year is approaching, one of the key things that is required for us to navigate in this season is a prophetic insight. A prophetic insight and a prophetic instruction that communicates the intent of God for a season. Um, one thing God does is that God would bring about his purposes by reason of prophetic declaration. And so every word that God speaks is a prophecy. Uh, so the word of God has the capacity of bringing to pass the things that God has prepared for his people. And I know that God has prepared something great for you. Uh, can you turn to that neighbor and say, neighbor, in the year 2024, God has prepared something great for you. And I pray you would not miss out from what God has prepared for you in the name of Jesus. Say to that neighbor, I would not miss out from what God has prepared. I receive with thanksgiving all that God has prepared in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Quickly, let's open our Bible to the book of Genesis chapter 15, verse 1. Genesis chapter 15, verse 1. And I read from the King James Version. And the Bible says, After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham, I am thy sheed and thy exceeding great reward. I was praying two nights ago, or maybe yesterday, uh, and this word, you know, I was praying, I think I was sharing it with the workers and the ministers yesterday night uh, when we had our prayer meeting, and I was saying that I got, as I was praying and I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, open my ears, open my eyes. You know, I want to see and I want to hear. And as I was praying, I was going on my prayer walk and I heard the voice of the Lord so strong. And it says, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Exceeding great reward. And I stopped when I heard that word. Because, you know, uh, before this time, the Lord had been talking about what he has in stock for the year 2024. And if there is anything I would appeal to everyone listening to me in this season, is do not despise the word of the Lord. In the year 2023, the Lord said to us, it's time to fly. Right? That was the word. And we saw that playing out in so many lives in RCC House of Grace Assembly. I mean, people had flights into different dimensions of their lives. The number of persons who traveled out, you know, physically. The number of persons who came into new jobs. The number of persons who changed from being single to married, the number of persons who had children, you know, delivered to them, you know, the number of persons who got settled miraculously, <laughs> you know, when God is sending a word, God has the capability to fulfill that which he has said. You know, I was praying some weeks back, or maybe earlier in the week, and I was on my prayer walk, and 
when I was praying and the Spirit of the Lord was saying that when a word is released, there are two things you need to check. The first thing you need to check is you need to check the track record of the person who is saying it. Meaning you need to look at the integrity of the person who is saying it. The second thing you need to check is you need to then look at the capability of the person who is saying it. So when God says a word, it means that God cannot lie. It means that the word of God are forever yea and amen. That is the integrity test. You look at the capability test or the capacity test. Is God able to do it? The scripture says, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. So if God has said it, God has only got one option. He has got the option, but to what? But to do it. I declare for someone listening to me tonight, every word that God has said and has declared in your direction shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. You know, I said it shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Now, the Bible says to us in Genesis 15 verse 1 that we read, God said to Abraham, it says, and the word of the Lord came. And it says, I am thy sheep and thy exceeding great reward. Now, to navigate the season, that is to go through, because the year 2024 is like a movie script. We are all actors. There is a script which has been written ahead for us. We are all actors, so there is a script which has been written down. And all we just do is that we perform according to the script that has been written down for us. So God is saying to us, you know, um, we are all actors, rather. Uh, so, and I said to navigate through the season of 2024, because the year 2024 is a new movie which is about to be premiered. You know the way you premiere a movie? You schedule a movie. When you schedule a movie, the scripts have all been written out, so the movie would play according to the script and according to the acting. The scenes of 2024 have all been scripted out. The outcomes have all been determined. You know why? Because there is nothing that catches God by surprise. God can never be taken by surprise. How do I know? The Bible says to us in the book of Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10. Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10. The, Lord, the Bible says, and God declares the end from the beginning. You know, when a man is writing out a script, is writing out the plot of a story, is able to determine the direction of the story, is able to fit in the pieces together. It's like you putting a puzzle together. The year 2024 is a puzzle. It's a puzzle. However, there is someone who has gone ahead of the year. He has fixed the puzzles together and he knows what the outcome of the year 2024 is going to be. And so God declares the hand from the beginning. Revelation chapter 22 verse 13. Revelation chapter 22 verse 13. The Bible says, and the Lord says, I am the alpha and the omega meaning i am the end i am the beginning so when something is the end and the beginning it means that there is nothing that is going to happen in the year 2024 that would look or appear to god like 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 surprise so nothing takes god by surprise Psalms 139 verse 16. Psalms 139 verse 16 says, Your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written every one of them, the days that were formed for me. So before you were formed, you know, Jeremiah was saying in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, it says, Before I was formed, before I was conceived, you knew me already. 
Praise the living Jesus. So there is nothing which is going to happen that God is not aware. The fact that you are alive right now, God had it written out in his books. And so the fact that you are hearing me at this moment, God already predestined that you would be hearing me this season and God already predestined that you would be seeing me this season. Because you know what? There's another script that the devil had written up. The script that, oh, you know, you would be dead. The script that, oh, no, you will be blind. The script that you will be deaf. But what the Lord God did in his mercy is that the Lord displaced the counsel of the wicked and the Lord enforced his own counsel. I declare for someone listening to me tonight, whatever the devil might be planning to put together or the devil has scripted out for you, I declare that it is overruled in the name of Jesus. Oh, I say it is overruled in the name of Jesus. Yes. So the Bible says to us that nothing takes God by surprise, right? We saw that in Psalms 139 verse 16 and Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. A good news for someone listening to me is that yes, even as the year 2024 is coming, one major thing that you need to know is that you have been divinely selected and you have been divinely appointed to see the year 2024. So there is a divine selection and there is a divine appointment. That is why you are alive right now. I mean, the year 2024 is just some minutes away from now. And um, according to the appointment letter of God, nothing on earth can change it. So you have been selected and you have been what? And you have been appointed. And um, apart from this divine selection and divine appointment, you have been marked for a blessing. Can you say to yourself, I have been marked for a blessing? You know, for those of you who joined the communion service, the theme of the service was a divine mark. A divine mark. That is, there is an army. There is, there is a sign. There is, the mark is God's signature. When God signs upon your life, there is nothing on earth that can erase it. And so when God signs upon your life, he has signed. God has inscripted a signature of blessings upon your life in the year 2024. So nothing on earth can annul that. Nothing on earth can what? Can cancel that out. And I declare that your blessing, which is from God, will be made evident in the year 2024 in the name of Jesus. So, according to the scripture we read, Genesis chapter 15, verse 1, and the Lord came, the word of the Lord came in a vision. I am thy sheet and thy exceeding great reward. There were two things that God was communicating to Abraham or Abraham in this scripture. And the first thing that God was doing is that God was establishing his insurance plan or his insurance program. So God was establishing an insurance plan for him. That yes, even though you might go through the storms, you might go through the rains, you might go through the fire, you might go through the challenges, you might go through moments of, you know, adversities, you might go through moments that do not look beautiful. However, have this at the back of your mind that I have opened an insurance plan in my name on your behalf. So God opened an insurance plan for him. The next thing God did was that God also initiated an investment plan. An investment plan. When you talk about reward, returns on investments, you talk about returns, you talk about blessings, you talk about increase, they all speak to an investment plan. So there are two things that we would need to journey in the year 2024. 
the first thing you would need is you would need God's insurance plan. <laughs> Why do you need God's insurance plan? The scripture says to us in the book of Psalms 91, Psalms 91 from verse 1 to 3, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, that would be your testimony, shall abide under the shadows. Because the year 2024, you know, I mean, we saw the year 2023. We saw how the way the world went. We saw all kind of dramas happening. And so true things God needed to communicate to Abraham ahead. As he was about to launch into a new season, into a new realm, which he had not journeyed into. But because God is the major script writer and God, by his divine wisdom, had scripted the end from the beginning, then God needed to make him aware that, number one, I have an insurance plan for you. So God's insurance plan. Can you echo that? God's insurance plan. Now, Psalms 91 from verse 1 to 3, Psalms 91 from verse 1 to 3, and Psalms 27 from verse 1 to 3. Because of our time, those are scriptures you should study. Psalms 27 from verse 1 to 3. And when we talk about God's investment plan, God's investment plan, Psalms 23 from verse 1 to 6, Psalms 23 from verse 1 to 6, and Psalms 3 from verse 2 to 3. Psalms 23, Psalms 3 rather, from verse 2 to 3. I love, you know, Psalms 23, you know, we know the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want you go through, you know, that all of that. Talking about how God has prepared a table before you and all of that. And Psalms 3 from verse 2 to 3 was talking about, and they have said that there is no help for him in God. But you know what? But God is changing the narrative because, and he would say, for thou, O God, are a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I declare for someone listening right now, your head shall be lifted. I declare your glory shall be restored. I declare that all that the devil thought they are finished. They thought they had finished with you, but they would see God's in investment plan when they see that your rising becomes evident to everyone. Your rising becomes evident in the name of Jesus. So, when God came to Abraham in Genesis chapter 15 verse 1, it was a manifestation of his in insurance plan and his investment plan. And one key thing you need to understand is that each of these plans are guided by divine instructions. They are guided by divine instructions. I want to appeal to you. As we journey into the year 2023, do not forsake divine instructions. As we journey into the year 2020, sorry, 2024 rather, 2024, as we journey into the year 2024, do not forsake divine instructions because they would determine the coordinates of your life we are going on a journey there is a script that has been written out and so the instructions would help us to navigate you know so we don't miss out from god's program and um, i want to write i want you guys to note five things i saw in that scripture, Genesis chapter 15, verse 1, as I bring my message to a close. Genesis chapter 15, verse 1, when God said to Abraham, he says, and the word of the Lord came. Now, there were five things which I said, there are five things which I required to deploy God's insurance and investment plan in the year 2024. In the year 2024. The first thing that we need is the word of God. 
Number one is the word. The word. The word. Everything God begins, God begins with the word. Everything God performs, God performs with the word. The scripture says he sent his word. And so, one of the major instruments or ingredients that would help you shape and cook up the year 2024, it would be that there is the availability of a divine word. <laughs> a word that would shape, a word that would form, a word that would help you to navigate through the year 2024. You must be a lover of the word in the year 2024 for you to profit because nothing happens outside of God's word. The scripture says, and we learn by faith that the words were formed by the word of God. Hebrews chapter 11. We learn by faith the words were formed. The scripture says to us in the book of Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3, it says, and God upholds all things with the words of his power. So when the word is available, then it means that the blessing God has scheduled for you is available. I declare your word shall be released in the name of Jesus. So the word is very, very, very key. You know, someone was sharing a testimony with me just on, um, I think on Friday, either Friday or or Thursday, if I'm correct, if I, if I remember rightly. So I was sharing a testimony with me. And she said that she changed a job. And the job that was changed, you know, by the grace of God, I went visiting to their church. And as I went visiting to their church, as I was driving down, the Lord said to me, he said, I give somebody a new job. So as I mounted the altar, and as I was about to talk, I just said, the Lord spoke to me and said, there is someone who has been asking God for a job. He says, he has, he has given you this job. I said, it's going to be a great and a glorious job. And lo and behold, and this person stepped out. And you know, and I just said a word of faith, a prayer of faith with the person. I said, it is done. Something glorious is delivered. You know, the amazing thing was that the person told me that that morning she had a dream and in the dream she saw me coming to church and I prayed for her and in the prayer I said to her that receive a new job. So, ah, because I never told anybody I was going anywhere. So when I appeared suddenly and I said the word of prayers with her, it was a confirmation of what God had settled already. And lo and behold, the job she got, she said, fantastic. A job she never applied for. She was sought for. She was, it was delivered. I use that as a testimony. I said, the things that you have been desiring, things you have labored for previously that were not delivered unto you. By the prophetic word of God, I declare right now, they are released into your hands in the name of Jesus. I declare they are released in the name of Jesus. So the first thing you need is you need the word. Do not despise prophetic words, my people. Do not despise prophetic words. Do not also, most, more importantly, do not despise the written word of God. Do not despise the written word of God, for it is written. The second thing that is needed is you need a divine visitation. A divine visitation. A divine visitation. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 10 from the Amplified Version. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 10. I want to read that scripture from the Amplified Classic. The Amplified Classic. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 10. It was a scripture that speaks about God's visitation. Because God visited Abraham and God will visit you. He says, the, Behold, the Lord God will come with might and his hands will rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him and his recompense before him. God's visitation. He says, Behold, he will come with might. So when God came visiting Abraham, he came with might. 
you would experience there is nobody that was ever visited that remained the same so i declare for someone listening that the visitation of god will be visible and evident in the year 2024 in the name of jesus the top thing you need is that you need your eyes to be opened you need your eyes to be opened you need your eyes to be opened and also your ears to be opened vision is not just about sight vision is also about hearing it says, and you would hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, go dear it in the way. And so the Bible says, and the Lord came to Abraham, he visited, and in that visitation, there was the hopeling of his ears, and there was the hopeling of his eyes. So you need your eyes to be opened. You need your ears to be opened. Divine what? Vision. You know, how do we know that? Genesis, that same Genesis chapter 15, if you read verse 5 to 6, Genesis chapter 15 from verse 5 to 6, you know, that scripture that we read earlier, it says, And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now towards heaven and tell the stars if they are able to tell the number. And he said, So shall thy seed be. He says, Look and see so what you see becomes your reality what you hear becomes your reality so ensure that what you see or what you look upon or what you are listening to are things which are consistent with god's ordinances with god's program for your life and when god opens your eyes and your yes what happens is that you receive a promise a promise so there is also a divine promise so you know I'm, i i said the five things that are required to deploy god's insurance and investments there is the word there is a visitation there is the vision of the lord a divine promise isaiah chapter 62 verse 11 in the amplified classic isaiah chapter 62 verse 11 a divine what a divine promise let's look at that scripture isaiah chapter 62 isaiah chapter 62 verse 11 i'm reading from the amplified classic it says behold the lord has proclaimed to the end of the earth say to the daughter of zion behold your salvation comes in the person of the lord behold his reward is with him and his work and his recompense before him so there is a promise. It says, say, behold, to the daughter of Zion. Say to the people of House of Grace Assembly. There is a promise that God has gone ahead of you to release. Each day is laden with promises. So your eyes must be open to see. Your ears must be open to hear. And the last is divine execution. Divine what? Execution. In Genesis chapter 18 verse 14, the Lord said to Abraham, Is there anything too hard for me to do? So there would be a performance of everything God has said. He said, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. But you hear this. The focus is on God. So it means that God must be your last result. God must not be an alternative, but God must be what? Your last result. God must not be an option. God must be the only option. He says, I would go ahead of you to prepare that for you. As you see it, it becomes your reality. And one of the things that God has told us concerning the year 2024, in order for us to live in the reality of what he has prepared, because the scripts are written, the provisions have been made, the opportunities have been created, the doors have been opened. It is about we being able to navigate 
to the right places we've been able to see what has been made available and we taking possession of that which has been delivered into our account by the mercy of the lord so i want to encourage you beautiful people of god rejoice evermore rejoice evermore because what faithful is he who has promised and he is able to bring to pass just as he has said it as i conclude what are the instructions god gave to us as a church is that all through the year 2024 we as a church will spend all day praying i mean all the days in the year 2024 shall be devoted to praying we'll be praying together as a church via our whatsapp group so every morning we pray together every morning we'll pray together every morning we'll pray together just for 20 minutes max 30 minutes between 20 to 30 minutes depending from the hours of 6 to 6 30 starting from january 1st we'll be praying together because we want to take delivery of that which god has prepared in his investment plan and in his insurance plan can we bow down our heads and let us begin to thank god for these words thank him because all things are ready thank him because he has gone ahead of you to prepare the year Thank him because the script has been written out for you. Thank him because your life will not be cut short in the year 2024. Thank him because you will become the fullness of what God intends for you to become. Thank him because your life will not be cut short. Thank him because his word says, I am thy sheet and thy exceeding great reward. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. House of grace, give him the praise. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Just as the year is about to cross over into the new year, I want you to ask something spectacular from the Lord. Ask for something spectacular. It says, ask of me the edding, and I will give to you the edding as a possession, and I will give to you the nations as an inheritance, as a possession. So ask God for something specific, something great in the year 2024. Do you want a better work so that you can hear God clearly? Do you want a better relationship? Those are excellent things. Recently, I was praying to God and I spent two hours praying and I never asked God for anything. All I was saying was, God, I want more of you. All I was saying, so if you want more of God, ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask, him. Ask, him. Ask, him. ask God for more. For more. And something spectacular you want. Ask him. Also, are you interested in change of levels? God has gone ahead to prepare that. So ask on him. Say, ask, and I will give to you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Shortly, as we cross over, we would rejoice, we would shout, and I would give us the prophetic instructions for the year 2024. Before then, if I give the prophetic instructions for 2024, let's rejoice. Let's shout Happy New Year. Let's celebrate because God has done it. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen.